Yeah, it's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Well, donkey of the day for Monday, December 9th goes to a school in Brooklyn called PS321. Uh, why is PS321 getting donkey of the day? Because they fired a substitute teacher for telling the truth. Let's go write the new 12 Brooklyn for the report to see this grave injustice that happened to this substitute teacher. A Santa Claus conundrum in Park Slope. Parents say their first graders came home teary-eyed Monday after their teacher brought up a controversial belief about the big guy. Parents like Allison Meyerhands telling us that a staff member at PS321 told his five and six-year-old students that Santa and the Tooth Fairy aren't real. Families say it happened during a lesson about convincing. Principal of PS231 telling us that this was a substitute teacher, but parents say it doesn't matter. It's letter sent out to parents. The principal says she is extremely upset to hear about what happened. She says they are investigating the staff member and that quote, I guarantee you that this substitute will not be in class 1216 again. A Santa Claus conundrum. What is the definition of conundrum? A confusing and difficult problem our question. What's confusing about this, people? Huh? It comes a point in time where we have to stop arguing against reality. Like, this is really disturbing to me because there's too many adults willing to play make-believe, and that grown game of make-believe y'all playing is ruining adults' lives in the real world, okay? Dear principal of PS321 in Brooklyn, Liz Phillips is her name. Salute to Liz Phillips. Uh, Liz Phillips, you couldn't pull this teacher to the side and tell them, look, don't tell the kids that. Some of these kids have parents lying to them at home about Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. Let these kids live their lie. Mind your business and just stick to the lessons plans. That 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 could have been the conversation. But don't fire this person over telling the truth. Because guess what? Spoiler alert for everybody with kids in the car. Santa Claus and Change the Tooth Fairy. Santa Claus, <laughs> Santa, Claus, Santa Claus and the Woo! Tooth Fairy are not real. Yes, they are. They do not exist. Yes, they are. Bah I have three daughters. I'm not lying to none of them about no fat white man who has a Change bunch of flying station. reindeer who comes down your chimney when you don't even got no goddamn chimney, who travels all through the world and gives you whatever you want as long as you make a list. You're nice, okay, and not naughty. And you leave out some damn Chips Ahoy's and 2% milk. All right, I work too hard for my money to ever give credit to Santa Claus, but more importantly in America, we don't even have to go all over the world, just in America. In America alone, it's like 40 plus million people living in poverty. How cruel is it to teach those kids about Santa Claus? Okay, they all in school writing their list, and the only people who actually get what they want on, on their list is kids whose parents can afford it? That's what I want to know. How do you explain to kids that Santa got uh, what you wanted, but didn't get you what you want it. How do you say that? How do you explain that to two different kids when y'all both wrote a list? And the Tooth Fairy, please. Little white women with wings giving you money for your teeth. Once again, some families can't afford to exchange cash for teeth. How is this fair? Why are kids being fed these lies? If telling the truth about Santa Claus makes me a Scrooge, then buy a humbug, okay? If it makes me a Grinch, then I don't want to be the one who stole Christmas. I'll be the one who told the truth about Christmas. Not to mention, uh, you teach your kids not to lie, but you feed them lies throughout their whole youth. And then when they get older, you wonder why they don't believe in things like God. God. Okay, I'm dead serious. You teach your kids about God throughout their whole youth, and then when they get older, you wonder why they don't believe, all right? Because you, you done taught them about Jesus and Santa and the Tooth Fairy, all these entities, uh, you know, too fictional, too that I believe in. But if a kid grows up and learns Santa and the Tooth Fairy aren't real, they probably gonna question you about this God person, too, all right? Moral of the story is we are gaining absolute, absolutely nothing by lying to kids about Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. And I can't believe in 2019 adults are getting fired by other adults for telling what we all know is the truth. If I was this substitute teacher, I would sue this school and demand that this school provides evidence that the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus are real. If not, then this proves this firing was unjust. And question for all parents out there, seriously. Are you still teaching your kids about Santa because you know you can't get your kids what they want for Christmas? So when they don't get what they want, you know, you can just blame it on the fat white man from the North Pole. OK, I have no problem with you blaming any white man for your poor economic conditions because you're probably right. But at some point this holiday season, someone has to explain to me the benefits of lying about Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. Is this a way to keep kids in line by telling them if you don't act right, Santa won't bring you what you want? Like, what is it? I think it's cruel to teach kids about Santa Claus, okay, if you can't afford to really be Santa Claus. Because all you're doing is making kids hate Santa. And they're going to be writing letters to this fictional character Santa like Riley Freeman did on the Boondock Season 1, Episode 7 of Huey Freeman Christmas. Remember when Riley wanted all the smoke with Santa?
all these fake Santas posted up in the mall. They got to take all the heat because they haven't been delivering all these years for all these different children. Please give PS321 in Brooklyn the sweet sounds in the Hamiltons. Oh, now you are the donkey mm. of the day. Ooh, you are the donkey of the day. Yee-haw. Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.